Manchester, England. Just chilling. We made the way for my man to come in from the, the West Coast. Touch base with y'all, Here we are in Manchester. We went for the rest of the data. Press crew was coming in. My man Leroy and Binky. Four. Four. And then we're going over. Good pop nation. Uh, the first tour on the way into Liverpool. Go with my man Bo. Yeah. yeah. This is the, this is my man. What's your name, brother? Shilly. Shilly. <laughs> from. They call me Six Sack from this Germany. This is the Six making Six. of the Dada Festival Crip Hop Tour. Man, Shilly. And the uh, brain, the monster hey, master man, the conductor, the Leroy the F. Moore Jr. We are finally here. That's right. Sitting down after a long flight, just chilling. Yeah. So we're going to keep on putting this little mini documentary together. Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, we are. Are you ready? You up and you ready for this? Repping yeah. right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm so tired. Okay. I want to rep. Well, this will be the tired video. I'm, I'm too shy today. <laughs> I didn't know you was recording that. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's all good. Cool. So we're going to come back at this a little bit later. Peace and blessings. Yeah. One love. Yeah. Day and day, 
Bus on our way to St. Helens, Dot Out Fest, Crip Hop Nation. We got the brothers all in here from all around. I'll introduce you to the family. You got your co founder, the anchor, Mr. Leroy F. Moore. What's up, brother? You on the tour bus? Big Wheeling. Got the, got the big giant, Biggie Boy. What's up, baby? Yeah, we go. Woo woo. Straight on the way, we on the tour bus. Straight we had the mysterious Forrest Bo Bowen. Yeah, good three boy. names. He's so tough. He got three <laughs> names. Three <laughs> My twin brother got boy. lost in the time uh, dimension. There you go, Nick Skilly. Shilly. What up, everybody? What's up, German in the house? Yeah, we're in the house and we're waiting for Chris and Psychomatic. All right. See y'all. Let me get my old self around, swinging around all the way from the mother country, <laughs> my brethren. What's up, brother? From Uganda. That's Africa. Yes, all you know. We got it all locked down. That's how we do it. All right. See you guys a little bit later. Hello, England. Uh huh. Hello, England. All the way to St. Helens. Crip Hop Nation. MWD. Here in Liverpool. Dada Fest. 2014. 
Crip Hunt UK tour for our first workshop. Yeah, we have arrived at St. Helens. First joint, first job, first gig. Right here in St. Helens. We're going to do a workshop and later this evening we come back and rock the house. Here we are, Crypt Hub Nation, Dada Fest. St. Helens, the UK. Beautiful here. I'm here in St. Helens. See, we got the Crip Pop joint going up here. We got the poster. And also we have 
Binky, and um, Bo here, and they get to teach you how to beatbox or how to write lyrics if you, if you want to. So, so that, that's that. Hands on part of the workshop if you, if you want that. Um, before that, we're going to talk about more about Clipbox. You have our PowerPoint there. And our PowerPoint, as you can see, is really culture. I convinced them to do a short um, three-part series of hip-hop and disability. So we had jazz hip-hop artists on. We had a lot of um, artists um, from L.A. DJ Quad was on. So we had a three-part series. In every part, we had artists talk about their experience around hip hop and we played their music. <coughs> so after that three part series, I said, huh, I, I like this. We, we should continue this. So that's, that's when I put it out into the internet. And I met Rob in the, in the internet. And I met BT and I met Ronnie Ronnie. And the clip hop grew from there. So since that time, we've been traveling around the US and around the UK, doing events, doing programs, and doing workshops like these. So that's, that's the history of hip hop. Um, also, if you know hip hop history, if you know hip hop culture, you know that Africa Bambada, the, the, the um, founder of hip hop, of hip -hop culture, because everything has a culture to it. People with disabilities, we have our own culture, we have our own history. Black people have their own culture, their own history. The same thing with hip hop. Hip hop has its own culture, its own history. And um, in your seats, you had um, a handout of Africa Bivara and what he did, and what he started as hip hop culture. And hip hop culture is graffiti, breakdancing, DJing, and seeds. And Africa Bivara, with the culture, he's like, the culture is bigger than just rapping. So today you see, you know, in TV and all this bling bling, but that's only one part of hip hop culture. So what Crip Hop is doing is Crip Hop saying, yes, African American, we see that, but we want to include disability culture to hip hop culture. Because you really can't write music or be expressive if you don't know your culture and you don't know your history. So a lot of people think that people with disabilities don't have a history, don't have a culture. And that's not true. We have our own history, we have our own culture. And so today, what we're going to try to do, if you want to do it, is write lyrics about your experience, about being a person with a disability, about the culture and what, what you see in your society, and put that into a song or into a poem. Yeah? A lot of the, the, the problems that people see, if, 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 you, if you have a physical difference, disability. People can see that. But when they have a disability underneath, you know, like a uh, blood virus or uh, maybe a you know, mind or whatever, you know, portraying that is very difficult. Yeah. How do you, as a gang, you know, do all the diversity, not just the physical, but the underlying ones as well? Yeah, I mean, we got, we got, you know, people in Germany. Vicky can talk about how 
the chapter in Germany don't only have people with physical disabilities. So, Vicky, you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, as we build up the chapter in Germany, we um, have uh, three uh, guys in, into our team who only have a, a mental disability. One guy has schizophrenia, and uh, yeah, and uh, they work with us, you know, and they, they explain their problems of their disability within the music, within the lyrics they write, and so people, when they come to our shows, they can uh, learn more about having a invisible disability by listening to the lyrics. Uh, same is with uh, Lady MJ in the UK. She uh, had a car accident and had a, a serious brain stroke or with epilepsy, but if you see her, you won't even notice that she is a disabled person. But uh, that's why she is uh, expressing herself with, with her music, with the lyrics, and that's why we're doing the, the workshops. And it's really feel sorry for her that she cannot attend to this tour in her own country because she has uh, uh, some problems with her epilepsy after returning back from our U.S. Bay Area tour. And yeah, she she would be the perfect perfect person to talk about invisible uh, disabilities because she is suffering from um, mental disabilities and serious. Uh, we try to just try to include everybody of all kinds of disabilities. Anybody else have a question? All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Our first show in the bag. Did we do it? Did we rock it? Yeah, we rock it. Did we rock it? Okay, did we rock it? Okay. This is the Dollar 2014 Dollar Fest Crip Hop UK Tour. Yeah. Crip Hop. One love. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the battery. The battery is about to go, but we there. Thanks, Sasha. Great gig, man. Yeah, I liked it. It was beautiful. Beautiful audience. Thank you. Would you, mind, would you mind if I ask you guys? Can I can I ask you guys what you thought of the gig? I just thought, yes, I thought it was full of energy and vitality. I can't really speak Ugandan or German, but we didn't have the Ugandan translations, but it was still full of energy and passion. And I thought it was very good. I thought, yeah, I thought it was very brave to go on stage to be photographed to lots of people. Yeah, great stuff. And, and you're, can you say a bit about what you do? Because you're a bit of a... You do, do you do some emceeing at, at home? Or? I do a bit of rap at home. Ben did our drama group. He does drama as well, don't you? Nice. Yeah. I just sit it up. Oh, sorry. Okay, brilliant. All right, thanks, Ben. Yeah, Cheers. Thank you. I should have the camera built in there. That'd be GoPro. Yeah, so what did you, what did you think? I thought it was damn awesome. Well done, guys. Yeah. Was it what you expected, or, or did, you know, did you know what to expect? I expected kind of like the hip-hop type thing, because obviously yeah. it means yeah. like hip-hop based, so yeah. it was uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone you... up and danced for it. Yeah, I saw you doing some moves. I'd be popping away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, is, there, is there much hip-hop? stuff in St. Helens. Yeah. yeah, we've actually got a crew. There's um, a crew leader type thing at the moment because his brother's away. Chief. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> we're like the only... Not wearing his feathers. Oh, right, okay. There's, there's oh, one little bit and that's it. All right, so yeah, we're, 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 we're actually break dancers. We'll do some right. break dancing. Ah, okay. Um, 
we don't we don't really gig. I mean, we we train about like uh, right, get three or four down. times yeah. a week. We do classes and then we do competitions. Really, right? Um, we should be at one next weekend in Huddersfield. Uh, okay. um, it's oh, qualifiers for like comp in France. Alright, wow. Yeah. If they come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting out of town in France, like, we're going to France anyway! <laughs> so do you all do that? Yeah. Uh, part of no, just us yeah. four. Yeah. Um, I don't know, these, two, these three just gave me. We are just strangers. Just strangers. <laughs> yeah, we were just invited. What did you think? It was good. good yeah. 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 I know Seymour. nothing of rap. <laughs> first first hip hop experience? No? Yeah? Okay. Cool. Did you get to speak to any of the guys? You, I haven't. I spoke to them yeah. right at the very beginning. They're very friendly, so if you want to yeah. chat it's to them. He was out here before yeah. when we, was, right. when we right. started right. off. Right. Um, we didn't even know there was Hey guys, get in. Come over here. Get in. Right. Bring the yeah, yeah, these, these guys that do some hip hop in St. Helens. Where, where we do like dancing and stuff like that. Dancing. Uh, they do break dancing, break dance. and they're a bit yeah, of a yeah, yeah. hip hop crew in St Helens. These guys. Okay. Yeah, so. Cool. Right. Have you are some older men from Germany's rap scene, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was okay the show, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh it's uh, sometimes okay a problem. With don't understand the lyrics. Ah, uh, sorry. We just go with the flow. You get the feel of it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What did you think about that? Just the whole different language thing. Did it make I any quite difference? liked it. Yeah. In German. It kind of made it a bit more interesting. Yeah. Right. I, I didn't realize that was like I knew it was like a multinational group at the start, yeah. but I didn't realize it was going to be in in like native tongues. But yeah. I didn't think that was quite interesting. Yeah. Okay. yeah I enjoyed it. Yeah. I did a lot of yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, There's the average not level, the there's your level. <laughs> and then you get him. And uh, Ronnie, how was your first gig in the UK? Oh, well, uh, this is just my first trip yeah. to UK. Yeah. Last time I missed coming in 2010. Yeah. But I'm glad finally yeah. I made it. Yeah. Um, Ronnie had to travel many, many kilometers to get his visa to come over here. So he's, a, he's a amazing, brave guy. Yeah, it so, wasn't yeah. easy for me, but at least I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, yeah. right. So he's going to be doing a little documentary of their tour. Oh, that's stuff, cool. So. I don't know. Yeah. Can I get a picture of you all in, inside? Because the, the light now is. Yeah. All right. So I'll be alive back inside. Finished the rehearsal in St. Helens, the workshop. Awesome. On the way back, got the whole crew. <laughs> just finished extraordinary workshop. Starving. We're starving, Ooh. yeah. We're in starving mode. So we're we we'll get these stars over here. Be exclusive. Breaking into their conversation, being rude. Yeah. What's up? What's up, fellas? Yeah. Extraordinary workshop. Talking about our projects. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a cypher on the bus now, the video yeah. next. <laughs> what up? Yeah. <laughs> Perform your mental image. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will believe that a big can go up early to work. <laughs> Yeah. On our way to Manchester, show two. Show two. Manchester. Good score. Thank the man. Black Forest in the house. Yeah. No. Oh my, who this be? <laughs> to the ILE. There you go. Contact. My first cigarette. Uh, you want more? Yeah.
Okay. I'm back. I'm back. You came to five years there. ago. Mm -hmm. But when? Morning, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my! Who could it be? It'd be the Binky from the Germany. Black Forest in the house. Chris Gus. Chili. Adrian. How's everybody doing? Thank you all for coming out. Long way from Brooklyn, but I'm so happy to be back in Manchester. Brooklyn, Brooklyn!
ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce, first of all, thank you so much for having us. I'd like to introduce you to the founder of the Crip Hop Movement, Mr. Leroy F. Moore from Berkeley, California. How's everybody doing today? Yeah. yeah. So, before we get to the music, I'd like to talk about how and what is Crip Hop Nation. Crip Hop Nation with a K is more than music, that's our tagline. But Crip Hop Nation started six years ago um, in the California Bay Area um, from a really small group of myself and Rod the Noise Temple and Keith uh, Jones, and we wondered, you know, where is all the musicians with disabilities in the music industry? So not only hip hop, and we realized that the music industry is so ableist when it comes to disabled musicians. So that's how we started Crip Hop, to really um, educate the community in the music industry about musicians with disabilities that have been here since the blues and that will always be here. So Crip Hop started with that and now we're here in the UK with Dallas Fest. And you're gonna hear today, you know, hip hop from Germany, Africa, in the US. But we do more than hip hop and Rod the Noise Timbo's gonna show you some soul music coming from his um, his perspective. So we're gonna go on and get, get into some music with Crip Hop Nation. Welcome to the nation, people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Black Forest, Germany, Psycho Mac. From the Black Forest, the Germans. Chris Cole. From Bavaria, head man of the M. W. T. Mr. Vicky Boy. From Germany, Munich. Hot, 
Ich bin nicht mehr mit meinem Gesicht, 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 ich bin nicht mehr mit meinem
Christmas list. Hey, I really would like to do a stage dive. Somebody here? <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> so, hold on. Before we go on, before we go on, we have to recognize that we got the homeboy from Brooklyn. The birth of hip hop, New York City is in the house, people. Rob, the noise. Can you introduce the it's family? Big over here. Yeah. From the Black Forest. <laughs> the big man. Psycho man. Shrek himself. Yes, sir. Jim. From the Black Forest, Germany, Chris Scott. Sniper production. From Germany, Bavaria, head man, Binky White. Yeah! Woo. I just get artworks in the house, you know. Let's see who else we Oh, from Germany, Mike Shitty. Oh, see those oh. up from Berlin. <laughs> then be <the> Germany. <laughs> Bowen. Yeah. From the mother country from Uganda. Took 57 hours to get here. Wow. Mr. Ronnie Ronnie. I just want to teach you one more word. That's from Uganda. I say mueva le nyo, you say kale. Mueva le nyo, kale. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean? Then you get a little, you get a little lesson in here. I'm right? like, I'm thanking you, then you reply, it's okay. Right? <laughs> the founder of the Crip Hop movement, activist, poet, my partner, when I asked him, are there any other disabled musicians, he answered the call. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leroy F. Moore. Yeah! <laughs> the one guy you bring all together. And my name is Ron DeNoy. Yeah! Yeah, hold on. Yeah, give it up for yourself. Your name is lovely. Thank you. Now, Chok Chok Tejikula. Leroy, Leroy. It's getting hot in here. Leroy, we start this on a track. Crip hop is more than music, like I said in the beginning. And there's a lot of, a lot of um, um, things going on in the UK right now with the government of cutting benefits, cutting people's homes, people with disabilities being homeless because of the government. So we made this track called Politics. Yes! In the Oh, <laughs> 
from the mother country from Uganda, ladies and gentlemen. It took them 50,000 hours to get here. Yeah. Run and run. Germany, ladies and gentlemen, from Berlin, Scotland, all the lands, ladies and gentlemen, both ran. <laughs> the founder of Crip Hop, activist, poet, and my partner, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leroy F. Moore Jr. <laughs> my name is Robert Lewis Temple up in the house with you. About to get out here, show number six, heading out for Preston, Leroy Moore, Binky Binky. On the Black Saturday. Yeah, yeah, you know. Do not shop Friday. Do not buy anything. Preston, Preston, here we go. On the ground. Hey, hey. All right. Hey, here we come. Black Forest in the house. Psychomatic. Yeah. Yeah. What up? Berlin's finest. Bo wine. Buongiorno. Bo wine. Love. Bo wine. Love. I was just not thinking about leaving. <laughs> yeah, we blow, blowing up the real smoker, man, now. Yeah. Quit pop, MWD. Pop, pop. That's how we do it, baby. We bubbling, baby. Bubbling, we popping bubbles, baby. We popping bubbles. All our way to Preston. Incredible Dr. Bo. Oh, big one. These are the official Crip Hop bubbles, disabled bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pimple bubbles, baby. Crip Hop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. How you doing, Preston? How's everybody doing tonight? All right. All right. Thank you for coming out. We're going to start right now, I guess. And um, my name is Leo Moore. And what usually happens is that um, I talk about what Quip Hop is, what Quip Hop is doing here. Then I hand it off to uh, Rod the Noise Temple and we start the show. So, is that good for everybody? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So, um, Crip Hop with a K. Crip Hop is an international network of musicians with disabilities. So it's not only hip hop. People look at the term Crip Hop and they think it's only hip hop. But no, it's music, it's poetry, I'm a poet. And I'm a musician, so it's all kinds of music around people with disabilities. It started almost six years ago um, out of Berkeley, California, USA. I was doing a radio show at that time and I convinced the radio to do a three-part series on hip-hop and disability. And since that series, um, I took it home and wanted to do more. I wanted to explain it, and that's how Quip Hop was born. Yeah, you know, MySpace, when MySpace was hot back in the day, and got in touch with Rob the Noise Temple, and got in touch with Keith Jones, and one of the co-founders of Queer Pop and got in touch with um, Binky from Germany and we decided to like, yeah, Queer Pop should be um, a project. 
mean, clip hop is more than music. You know, what, what you see here is the music side, but clip hop is also education, advocacy from people with disabilities, social justice, and you'll see that in our lyrics too because our tagline is, Crip Hop is more than music. We've been at the Dallas Fest in 2010 with a, a different crew, and we're back, and um, Binky was there in 2010, and now we're back with a bigger um, crew. And um, so that's Crip Hop in a nutshell. We usually do workshops you know, for people that want to really get down to the nitty gritty of, of disability and music and disability justice and disability culture because disability is a part of our culture, our history, and our arts. So it's not something to overcome. We don't believe in that. We believe that it's our culture just like here in England, you have a culture, just like black people have a culture. So disability has a culture, has a history, has arts, has music, and that's what Crip Hop is all about. So I'm going to be quiet and get to the music side. So Rob Denoy's Tempo from Brooklyn, New York is going to take it over. How's everyone doing? Right now we're going to do this track from the radio show, Pushing Limits, and this is what it's all about. We push all the limits and do, we can do anything. So this is kind of the theme of the show. Can't 
Now, some of us have visible disabilities and some of us have invisible disabilities. So it's just a mental image. Inability. 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 Inability.
Preston, died our 2014 Crip Hop UK tour. Preston, the UK. Hey, hey where we just do? Where we just finished? Preston is in the box. Leroy F. Moore. One more left. Black Forest, Chris Gore. Turkish delight, Turkish delight. Yes, I am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And hey, we still dropping ciphers. Yes, yes. there it is. <laughs> All right. Incredible Danny on the case. All the way. Driver extraordinaire. We just finished rocking. Yeah, it was awesome. Ah, nice show tonight. Rock that Rock out. Preston with the old lady yeah, in the man, house. It was awesome. You, She's trying lovely. To take you to the Big love and respect to Preston, her. <laughs> Preston is in the bag. Yeah. And you, Preston is you in the bag. Who could this be? The one from Uganda. Guys, nice. Ronnie, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. The bad boy. Yeah, you go, Rasta. Hold on. You know? Oh, yes, sir. One more gig left. This is when we put it all together. Can't walk, that's right. What? I will say that on my way to the airport. Yeah. I can't walk. <laughs> Who is this B? It be the B from the Black Forest. You will laugh your ass off because my name is Bumblebee. Hey, hey. Who's this hey. dude? S to the C to the I L E. Uh, uh, who's behind me? It's the Pinky Kinky, Drinky Winky. We just tore the, stinky. tore the Preston down. Winky Winky. Winky Winky. Tore it down. Nothing to drinky. Yeah. Preston's in the bag. Six gigs I down. Mm. Uh, oh my! <laughs> Who could it be? <laughs> Turkish Delight <laughs> in the Crazy. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Gore. Mr. Leroy Boy, Searching Boy, Spinky! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling, Liverpool? Yeah. Everything good? Yeah. yeah, we like that. Nice audience, lovely people. So, what we have next? Well, you know, noise. When Ross, first thing Ross said, you know, this is an experiment. And so I, I looked at it and I said, it's like an analogy of piano keys like you see here. There are five black keys and seven white keys. The black keys ain't mad because there's only five of them. Okay. The white seven keys, they're not mad because the black keys is on top of them. They don't feel oppressed. So what we're trying to say, Crip Hop, one love. Love, 
What it means to be seen. There's still a new vision that we have to see. Get across the side of the This is our actual race. We are just a story. Ich bin der Mann, der sich 
in hip hop, in queer rock, in the music industry, especially yeah. women with disabilities. So this is not the full picture. We got work to do. Queer pop has work to do. We all have work to do to increase the diversity of music in our world. Yeah. And shout out to our sister, Lady MJ Warrior. Yeah. yeah. You feel like warriors, man? Yeah. Well, I'm a warrior. Let me see your fist. Yeah. yeah. Where are the warriors? So many warriors. All right. Yeah.